Hey, it's Ron. Traffic in uh, Newark is ridiculous this morning. I'm not quite sure why. I thought I would get off Route 21, go local, not really avoiding the traffic. So I figured, you know, I'd stop in and say hi to my friends. Had a fantastic time at last night's fundraiser for Joe Kent. Great meeting Joe in person. You know, we've had a couple of uh, culmination interviews with Joe. He's really a, really a good guy. We need more good guys and good gals in Congress. Great seeing my friends at the New York Young Republican Club. It's amazing what Gavin Wax is doing there. Not just Gavin, all the guys, all the girls. Tremendous team, very exciting. And I wasn't even the oldest person there, which is also very exciting. Anyway, you know, I wanna just talk a little bit about what's going on in Canada. Canada is like um, a state. I mean, it isn't technically a state. In fact, what I mean is you can see what would happen on a national scale if we had a sort of centralized government like Canada's here. Thank God we don't. Canada is like California or New York. The leadership is in some kind of thrall to someone, I'm not quite sure who, about these vaccinations. They absolutely insist on making people take them. And there's a very, very strong thrust in their policy making that can only be explained by an insistence that unilateral autocratic decisions will be made and no public resistance to them will be permitted. It is scary. You can't say it can't happen here because it is happening in, in these states. They're still wearing masks in California. They're still requiring them in New York. It's amazing how many years can pass in a person's life without ever thinking of Canada. Or at least it was amazing. That'll never happen again. <laughs>